Are you nervous about your upcoming interview and you don't have anyone to practice mock interviews with? Then worry not, you can use the power of AI to give mock interviews. AI has been advancing in today's age at a very rapid rate. You can talk to an AI, you can fall in love with an AI apparently, and you can practice mock interviews with AI. So in this video, I have the five best tools that you can use in order to give mock interviews. And these mock interviews are not just simple mock interviews, but they will assess you with machine learning algorithms. They'll check your voice because you'll be giving the answer by voice in some of these tools. They'll check your voice, they'll check your like emotional level, they'll check your tonality, they'll check your confidence and they'll give you feedback that you can use to improve yourself, that you can use to practice and make yourself more confident. You can think of these mock interview tools like a real interview and practice them like that. And at, after practicing enough, you'll have enough confidence, you'll be used to the idea of an interview and you'll have no worries in cracking your next interview. You can ace it with confidence. So let's start with the list of mock interview tools. And the first tool on our list is MockMate. So MockMate is a great website that uses AI and machine learning technologies to check your answers as you would in an interview. So what happens is that you can decide on a company, for example, say Google, and then you can decide on a position. So you'll need to give your input on what position you're applying for, for example, software development engineer. And then based on AI, they'll give you questions that you would see in an interview and then they'll check your answers. So not only they'll check the content of your answers, but they'll also check your tonality. So if you give the answer through your mic, then they'll check your tonality using NLP and uh, AI technology and they'll check your emotional level, like whether you're calm, whether you're collected, confident, whether you're nervous, whether you're anxious. And apart from that, they'll even check your confidence level, like how confident you are. And they'll give you a score on all of that, your content, your confidence level, etc. So it's a great tool to assess yourself. And for people who become nervous at the time of interview, MockMate is the best website to practice for because you can practice with your voice and they have a new feature where you can even practice with your video, with your webcam. Because in an interview, a lot of times the interviewer asks you to turn your webcam on and that makes a lot of people self-conscious. So you can practice this with MockMate, with your camera on, with your audio, they'll check your body language, they'll check your tonality and they'll rate you on everything. So it's a great mock interview tool. You can definitely check it out. Now, the next mock interview tool is not exactly a mock interview tool, but it can behave as one. And this is one of the most important invention in the field of AI. And obviously I'm talking about the well-known ChatGPT. So ChatGPT can become anything. It can become your teacher. It can become your instructor. It can become your friend at times. So it can even become an interviewer. So this is what you need to do. Just go on ChatGPT and give a prompt something like, I want to practice a mock interview. Give me three coding questions of this, this, this difficulty and set a timer and remind me after 45 minutes after one hour. So it'll just, it'll just be like a coding interview and you can type your solution and then it'll check whether the solution is correct or not. So you can pretend that it's a real interview, like a coding interview, and you can check your coding skills, your technical skills in this way. So this is a great way. You can ask for it for problems. It will give you some problems. You can even tell the topic that you want the problem on. It will give you the problem. It will set a timer and you can give it a solution and it will even assess your solution. And it's a great tool. ChatGPT is just an overall a great resource and it's a pretty great boon for programmers and software developers. So you can use ChatGPT for giving mock interviews, especially for checking your problem solving skills or your coding skills. Now, the third AI tool is by Google and it is called Google Warmup. You would have seen a lot of reels on it. So Google Warmup again has a lot of fields that uh, you can click on that you can go into like IT or data analytics or HR or something like that. And the AI will ask you questions based on that. And it also has the same thing that it can check your voice. It can check your confidence, your emotional level. But I would say this is not at the same level as MockMate but still it's a great interview tool. And especially if you're applying for Google, if you're applying for a position at Google, then Google Warmup is like one of the best tools for up for checking your skills. And even for data analytics, Google Warmup does a, does a very great job, but it's not the best for software engineering roles. It's better for data and analytics role and general questions like HR interview questions. And like I said, applying for Google. 
The fourth interview tool that we'll be talking about is Interview Chatbot. So Interview Chatbot is another great AI tool and it is what the name suggests. It's basically a chatbot that can take your mock interview. And in terms of user base, it is not as big as the other tools mentioned, but still it is relatively new and it has a smaller user base, but it is still a great tool. And some of its features are in beta phase, but you can still check them out. It's a great way to check your technical skills, to assess your coding skills, and just to know on what level you are before going to an interview and for raising your confidence. So it's pretty much similar to the other tools. It will give you a question. You need to read it and you need to provide it and provide it an input of the solution in a limited amount of time and it will check your solution. It will tell you whether it's right, whether it's wrong and the areas to improve at the end of the interview. Now, the last tool that I have for you is Pramp and Pramp is one of the best tools for giving mock interviews. But in the case of Pramp, AI will not be the one taking your interview. But what the AI is doing here is that it's matching you with another one of its user who have the same skill level, who have the same requirements so that you can take their interview and they can take your interview. So here you're getting a human touch, which is a which is the best part, because no matter how good as AI simulation gets, obviously it can never replicate the same things that a human can. So it has that element of a human touch because obviously your recruiter will most probably be a human and not an AI, although we are going in that direction. But right now, the recruiter will most probably be a human. So here you will get that human touch. You'll get that practice of another human being taking your mock interview, giving you questions and checking your skill level. So it's a great, great way of knowing where you stand again, increasing your confidence. And it's like as real as it gets to an actual interview. And I think it has a free plan, but it has a paid plan as well. But you can check it out for free. Like you don't need to pay anything for mock interviews with another user. So it's a great tool. And you will also get to experience like taking someone's mock interview and the same person will take your mock interview. So it's a great experience overall. You'll get to learn a lot of things and you'll get to learn, you know, where you're lacking, what are the areas you need to improve and you can work upon them and then move for your interview. So these are the five best tools that we could find for you for giving mock interviews and you can check all of them out. The links will be in the description. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'll be bringing you a lot more content on interview preparation, placement preparation, and how to get your dream job. So do subscribe to my channel, stay tuned for more videos, and let's see each other again in the next video. Thanks for watching.